good morning. Um, I want to say hi to you guys and say good morning. And um, uh, just wanted to tell you guys that no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's, no matter what you're going through right now or whatever you've been through, um, I just wanted to tell you that God loves you and that God has a plan for you and that He's been thinking about you and He keeps a plan always about you. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew that and I wanted to make sure that you heard that this morning or whenever you're listening to this video. So, um, you know, we can think that life is so complicated and it really is sometimes. Life is really complicated um, sometimes and like when we think about things we can make things so much more complicated than they are but um, to really remember something important you know God created all of us and he didn't just create us he designed us right so he knows he knows all of our little nooks and crannies of our personality he knows all the places that we hide. He knows he knows all the things that we think. And he knows all the things. He knows everything about us. So just keep that in mind and um, just think about the fact that even though he knows us, he still loves us. And he made us and he designed us. And so um, if you are feeling understood, then that is such a blessing. But if you're feeling misunderstood, then just know that God knows you, God understands you, and that you can talk to him and you can say anything, you can say whatever it is that you're feeling, and even if you can't verbalize what you're feeling, even if you can't figure out how to say it, he knows what's going on. So um, I just wanted to share that with you this morning, and I just want us to reflect on that and think about it, right? Think about how much God loves us and think about how no matter what you're going through, he knows, he knows all about it. He knows everything about it. He knows how, he knows how, it, how well it's going. He knows what's going on. So, um, I just want to say that to you guys and bless you guys this morning with that news because it's the truth. And, um, yeah, we are we are here on this earth and we're free to enjoy the things that God has given us, the things that God has blessed us with, the people in our lives, the friends and family that we have, um, the things that we love to do. Everybody has talents, right? You might not feel like you have any talents, but you do. You do have talents. And God has made you special, right? He's made all of us unique and special. So keep that in mind this morning as you're starting your day. And um, I want to encourage you guys to, to continue doing whatever you're doing. Whatever it is that you like to do, keep doing it. Um, now, of course, if it's bad for you or if it's bad and it's it's hurtful and it's causing problems then uh don't do it <laughs> but um just use your discernment on that god has given us all agency he's given us all free will to make up our own minds make our own choices and being that he's designed us he knows exactly who we are how we run and everything like that so with that being said, he's given us all unique talents and purposes, right? Our purpose, our purposes in life revolve around our talents, our unique talents. Um, so that's just something I want to share with you. So don't ever get discouraged. Don't ever let the world tell you that. Don't ever let the world tell you that you're stupid or that you don't make sense. Because it's not, it's not your job to make sense to the world. Right? That's something important to remember. And even bigger than that is this. You know this. You've heard this before. You are not born to fit in. We work so hard to fit in. When we're a teenager, we just want to fit in so badly with everyone else and get along with people and, and 
and fit in? How, how, how hard can we try? You know, how much do we want to try? But at the end of the day, it's never about fitting in, right? Because God did not design you to fit in. He designed you to stand out. He designed us to stand out. So just remember that. You know, we go about life and we think like, like, oh man, I need to fit in this situation. Like, what can I do to, I don't know if you feel this way, I feel this way. And I, I've definitely felt this way for a while. And I, I have a new perspective on it now. But um, I know for a fact people do this. A lot of people. Most probably everybody. Most, most of society probably does this. Wherever you are. You look at the situation, you look at the circumstance, and you don't look into it that deeply. But like, let's just say, let's just say you woke up in your house, and you're walking out to the living room, and your mom is already awake, or your brother's already awake, or somebody in your family, some people are already awake, and they're having a conversation. So what's the first thing you do when you walk into that, that part of the house? And you, let's say you walk into that room. What do you do? Do you stop and listen to what's going on? And then adjust yourself to be polite and modest and like bring yourself down to earth or whatever it is. Gather yourself, whatever it is. Do you adjust yourself when you go places? Do you make adjustments? And, you know, of course, in a library, you don't make a lot of noise. Stay quiet in the library, right? Because it's a library. There's certain situations that we um, behave certain ways in. A funeral, a wedding, certain things like that. Church, you know. But at the same time, what I'm asking you is, do you change yourself for other people? And do you put yourself on the back burner? Do you take your volume that God has set to a certain level and turn it down? And then go do things? Is that what you do? Because that's what I do. And I hate it. I hate doing that. Um, because I know that God has made me to be who I am. He's made me to be special. I am special no matter what. So do we fit our do we fit ourselves in? Do we do we turn ourselves around to fit into situations? Do we do it at the grocery store? Do we do it in front of our kids? Do we do it uh at the store do we do it whenever we go somewhere familiar somewhere that we know people there do we do that do we change ourselves do we change the way we behave to project something it's interesting so that's all i want to say and you know do we adjust ourselves in the presence of people uh, in the presence of certain people do we change ourselves around certain people um because of because of who they are or because of